Hello everyone, it's Chris here from the Southwest Shooters and in this video I'm going to talk about the best budget guns that I've used. So I'm going to define budget here as £500 or less. And the caveat will be that you will need to purchase extra things. So you will need a scope, you'll need pellets, etc, etc. Okay, but for just purchasing the gun, I'm going to talk about some of the best guns you can get for under 500 pounds. These are from my own experiences. So I've actually used all of these. Um, I can tell you the good and the bad, but it's mostly going to be good because I want to encourage people to shoot and this is what you can get for around 500 pounds. So at number five, we would have the Varark HW 97. This is the only non-PCP, so this is a Springer gun. And it's a top quality Springer as well, so you're not really going to be able to get much more for your money, right? But if someone was looking to start shooting and they said, I want a super good quality gun and I'm going to use it for field work and I want it to be accurate and I don't want to have the over, the outlay for a tank or a stirrup pump or any of those peripherals, that would be all you need. The downside being that it is harder to get your technique right, to shoot consistently and accurately, accurately with a Springer, but it is possible. In at number four, it's kind of like a joint thing because the gun, as far as I'm aware, is identical. Is the Gamma Fox and the Gamma Coyote. They come as packages, which one is a little over £500, but you can buy the gun individually. And in 17022, this would be a fantastic introduction to air rifle shooting, especially in the PCP realm. Gamma are the company that own BSA, and BSAs are high quality good guns and lots of the components from the gamos from the bsas and gamos are interchangeable so more or less they are they're very similar guns they use the same magazines they use the same cocking bolts um, they feel very similar to use i think the only downside to the gamo would be the the trigger i think that it would need possibly a little adjusting once you get a little bit more comfortable and a little bit more experienced with your shooting but you can see from uh, the videos that I've made about it on the channel that it is a good quality gun. So that takes us into position number two and this is going to go to the Kral NPO2. This I think is the most affordable gun on the list and again remember that you still have to buy pellets and a scope and bottle or a stirrup pump, but I was mightily impressed with the accuracy and the usability of this gun. At distances of between 30 and 40 meters, it's hard to really differentiate between what you're getting for any additional money. And considering that the gun comes in at under 400 pounds, you're potentially able to get a whole rig for under 500. You could absolutely buy a stirrup pump, a scope, and some pellets, and a, maybe even a case, and more or less reach 500 pounds. When or if I'm asked to say anything negative about the gun, it's virtually impossible to, for the price that you're paying, and considering that it behaves and gives you what guns several magnitudes more expensive provide, it's very difficult. So, but number one is the Walther Rotex RM8. Again, I want to stress that I've used all of these guns myself, and for me at least, the RM8 has been the most enjoyable gun to use. Now, I'm going to spend a little bit more time talking about the number one here, because I think of what it actually offers you, right? So although 
you can get the um, synthetic stock version for, I think, uh, roughly about £430. So again, you're still going to need a scope and a fill bottle and all of those things. This was a pivotal gun in me understanding that you can have a great deal of fun and not sacrifice anything. The accuracy is phenomenal. The shot count is high. The build quality and construction is very good. I read about the gun, Come, uh, it comes up a lot in um, on discussion forums about how the, they're, they are unreliable. Well, I can't attest to them being unreliable yet because I've not experienced any problems with one I, I have access to. However, I think this really illustrates the importance of uh, purchasing a gun from a reliable RFD, one that you trust and one that will look after you if anything was to go wrong with the gun. But saying that, in my experience of using the gun, it's been nothing but an absolute pleasure to use, and I've been really encouraged and surprised by how accurate the gun is to use. Um, and you can look at some of the videos on the channel that, that demonstrate that. So there you have it. The kind of guns that you want to keep an eye out for below £500. Bearing in mind you will need to buy some accessories as well to make them usable, but you may already have a cheaper PCP that you want to take the scope off and put on one of these ones, or hopefully I'm putting you in, in the right direction to at least consider some potential contenders. So there you go. That for me is four slash five of the best PCP air rifles you can buy for around £500. PCP and Springer air rifles you can buy for around £500. All of these guns are available from my friends at Crackshot in Newton Abbott and I've put a link in the description of this video to all of the guns. Apart from the Kral, they don't, they don't have those currently on their website, but they are in the shop. A few to have a look at. Take care, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.